Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about regrets, sneaker regrets. Have you ever bought a pair of shoes, took them home, put them on your feet and realize you have no business wearing that specific shoe? This happens to me all the time. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down five sneakers that I regret buying. Spoiler alert, this is one of them. What? Yes, these right here, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Now we're gonna get straight into the countdown of these five sneakers, but I will say that at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna be talking about a bunch of shoes that I'm actually selling from my personal collection online. This is, this is the first time I've ever done this. Usually when I wanna get rid of shoes or clothes, I'll just take them to a local shop and get rid of them. But I was like, why not give you guys access to buy some of this stuff for crazy prices? So I'm actually gonna be teaming up with Soul Steals to sell it on their website, and I've sent them all the stuff. I boxed it up, they have it all ready to go the link is down below and it goes on sale this Sunday but I'll basically break down how it's all going down what I'm actually selling and I actually have footage of when I was packing up at everything so you guys can get a glimpse of what's gonna be for sale so we'll talk about that a little bit later but all are here for one reason and let's talk about these sneakers I regret buying all right let's start out with the obvious sneaker everybody knows about the Oregon Jordan 5 situation I was able to get a pair of the Oregon 5s and then like like a year later or something, Nike announced that they're releasing the same Bruh. exact shoe as a general release. And the funny thing is it was the second time that they've done that with the PE that I own. So the first one was the UNC3, and then the second one was that Oregon 5. So, so it kind of ruined it for me. So I ended up trading that shoe to get another Oregon PE, and I decided to get these right here, the Oregon Jordan 6s. And then what happened? Literally like a month or two months later, rumors started coming out that this PE was coming out. Why every single PE I get, they have to make it to a GR. That's the reason why I got rid of the five and now they're gonna do it with the six. Like it's even become a meme. Anytime there's been a dope pair of PEs or friends and family that we've seen online, people tweet me, say, hey, guys, go buy those so that they can make them into a GR. So for now, these are staying in the collection. I'm probably gonna wear them soon. I don't regret owning them. I just regret how much I actually spent on them and I regret. <sighs> Next up are the Fearless Jordan 1s. Now, Jordan Brand actually sent me these shoes, so I don't regret buying them, but I regret what I did to the damn shoe. I literally turned them into low tops by chopping off the top of the shoe. At the time, it seemed like a good idea because NBA players were doing it, a few other people did it that I saw online, and it looked cool, but I think I just chose the wrong colorway to do it on because it was a patent leather version of the Jordan 1, which, in my opinion, doesn't really look good on a low top Jordan 1. And I I just wore them one time to Complex Con and then I never put them on my feet ever again because it just, it was weird. Now I'm not gonna lie, they look better on feet than they did like in images and whatnot, but again, it was, it, that wasn't the right colorway to do it to. I can't even remember where they are to be honest with you. All right, so the next shoe that I regret buying is basically every single Nike Dunk I have ever put on my feet. I don't know why I keep convincing myself that I could pull off Nike Dunks. I literally buy all the hyped colorways, I put them on my my feet and I just end up hating the shoe after a couple hours like that shoe is not made for my foot so I regret every dunk I ever purchased there's more dope dunks coming out and I'm like those are dope but guys you don't need them same thing is gonna happen stop buying Nike dunks they're not for you and if I ever buy a dunk again guys please slap me all right Mina if, if I ever buy a dunk again slap me somebody send her this clip right now so she knows to slap me if I ever buy another pair of dunks Unless they do like a, like another Travis dunk, then may All right, so the next one is actually two different sneakers, but they're not even mine. These are sneakers that I bought for my wife, Mina. And the reason why I regret buying her these is because I'm basically jealous that she has them and I don't. And I'm talking about the Off-White Complex Con and the Off-White MoMA Air Force Ones. At the time that I bought her these, I got these both for under $1,000. Now, both of these go for for 
insane prices, meaning I will never add these to my collection. I wish I had them and unfortunately I don't, but she does. I guess I don't regret buying it for her because she's my wife and I want to spoil her and I want her sneaker collection to be as you know dope as mine, but it's come to the point where her collection is better than mine and these are two shoes that make her collection better than mine. There's got to be a few regrets there, but look, at the end of the day, she's wifey. Now the most expensive sneaker I regret buying ever and y'all knew this was going to come. Like even when I I made the video buying this shoe. You guys said he's gonna regret buying these in a few months. You guys were honestly right, man. The Dior Jordan 1. Don't get me wrong, I love this shoe. I think it's a beautiful shoe. But after owning this shoe and wearing this shoe, let me get them out of the box real quick before I go in on it. Now, if you watch the video, you know how much I spent on this shoe. I did do a few trades, but overall, I spent $10,000 on my Jordan 1 Dior. So $10,000, pretty pricey. The price itself definitely could be a regret, but honestly, I regret that because I didn't get that feeling. I really, like, I don't know how to explain it. When I wore these, I didn't feel satisfied. Like, I didn't feel like I'm wearing a Dior. Like, I didn't feel like I was wearing a $10,000 shoe. It just kind of was like, whatever to me. Beautiful shoe, it's a great shoe, but I don't know, I just didn't get that satisfaction, man. Like, I put them on, I looked down, and it just wasn't that, like... I, it's, I'm having a tough time explaining this because it's like, I don't know, I feel like only sneakerheads know what I'm saying right now. Like, if you're not a sneakerhead, you don't get what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? Um, aside from that fact that it just didn't feel special to me, they fit big. Like, this 10 fits like a 10 and a half or even an 11. I don't regret buying them for 10K because, I mean, I made videos for this shoe, so I've definitely made a couple, couple you know, I made some money back on the shoe, I'm not gonna lie, but I really don't enjoy the shoe like I thought I would. So that's why I kind of regret buying these. Now, here's the thing. Am I gonna keep this shoe? I've been toying with the idea of getting rid of these and I have not done it yet. But I finally told myself like, you don't need to just have a shoe to say you have a shoe. When it comes to the Dior Jordan 1, I am gonna be selling these because I just, I, I, I don't love the shoe like I thought I would love the shoe. It's time for me and the Dior to part ways. Now, I do have a potential buyer for this shoe. It is another YouTuber, so I'm not gonna say who it is, but I will be meeting up with the YouTuber very, very soon to see if they wanna purchase these because they wanna try it on, they wanna see the condition they're in. We'll save that for a future video, but just know the Dior Jordan 1s could be going to a new home very, very soon. Those are all my sneakers that I regret buying. Well, at least for this video. But like I said, guys, I am gonna be selling a bunch of sneakers, clothing, and collectibles from my personal closet and I'm giving you guys access to purchase it for the first time ever. I've teamed up with Soul Steals to make this happen. We're doing Crew Closet by Soul Steals. So if you actually click the link down below, you could see a preview of everything we're selling, like mystery boxes, Jordan 1s, a bunch of Kobe's at retail price. I don't wanna make any profit off any of the Kobe's, so we're doing all the Kobe's for retail price. Off-white Prestos, Sakai's, just a whole bunch of Supreme stuff. This is your opportunity to purchase some stuff for some crazy price. Prices. But here's the thing, we don't want to give access to everyone because if we give access to everyone that's watching this, then it's going to be impossible to get. It's going to be like another sneakers drop. So we decided we're going to let only Soul Steals members be able to purchase from the Crew Closet website. And a lot of people might be turned off by that, like, oh, I don't want to sign up for a membership. But like, if you actually click on the link down below and see like how much of a steal some of this stuff is going up for, the membership is worth it, like really, really worth it. Like we're even giving away free stance Dream Crew sock. The membership is definitely worth it. I've preached about Soul Steals being the best place to buy sneakers, like they're cheaper than StockX, they're cheaper than GOAT. It is a membership website, but it's, look, you're literally putting yourself in a group that not everyone else can access. So you have chances to cop stuff for way cheaper than everyone else. Cause like StockX and GOAT and all these other websites, you don't need to be a member. Anybody can buy from there. But if you're actually signing up for Soul Steals, you have a chance of copping stuff for way cheaper because you're a part of a select group. We're gonna quickly flash to when I actually packed up all the backs, bo backs, when I packed up all the boxes and sent it over to Soul Steel so that you could get an idea of some of the clothing I put, some of the sneakers I put. Let's roll that footage. 
We got a bunch of t-shirts, some Bay Pape Adidas, Pablo T with like Kim K playing tennis, a lot of Astro World merch, Travis Scott McDonald's t-shirt, Kitsy Ghost Cactus Plant hoodie. This thing is selling dead stock for over $1,500. That's crazy. So if you're watching this and you see something that's not listed on the website, that's because it's going to be in the mystery boxes. I'm telling you guys, the mystery boxes we're dropping have very dope stuff. So if you wear my size and like large, extra large, 10, 10 and a half, the mystery boxes are definitely going to be bankers. And they're going to have dope things like Funko Pops, trading cards, collectibles, just random stuff. So mystery boxes are definitely going to be worth it. Travis Scott balls. Fortnite Travis Scott action figures. Got a bait rug. My Dream Crew Stance Collab Socks. Some Supreme Cups. Good stuff. I'm telling y'all, good stuff. Dead stock. Never wore them. Took the laces off. These New Balances. I love these. These are so fire. I don't know. They just fit a little too big on me. And I wasn't comfortable wearing them. Fire Red 4s. I can't believe I'm letting these go. But this is probably going to be one of the fastest selling items. Union 4s. Letting these go. PSG Jordan 4s. What the Jordan 5s. Quantum Yeezys. These white, gray, and red Jordan Jordan ones that kind of had the union vibes. Jordan 4s, Oreos. It's all gonna be worth it, man, for the greater good. All right, guys, so like I said, if you wanna have access to the Crew Closet by Soul Steals, it will be going live on Sunday at 12 p.m. PST. So if you actually go to the soulsteals.com website, there's a special tab for the crew closet. And if you scroll down, you can see all the items that we're gonna be having for sale. So we got the mystery boxes over here. These ones are gonna consist of a bunch of clothing, accessories, and every box will come with sneakers. Look at this, Dream Crew socks. We have the Dream Crew socks in all colors. You choose your color and it's it's free. It's free, all you have to be is a Soul Steals member and you could get the socks for free. Add it on your purchase. I'm letting go of my cause right there. I'm letting go of my new balances, like 150 for Carmines. Off-White Jordan 4 is like, you guys can just go to the website and see all the stuff that we're selling for crazy prices. This hoodie right here goes for like 1500 by the way, and I'm letting it go for 500 bucks, so that's a freaking steal. I know the mystery boxes are gonna sell out instantly because those things are the ones that are packed with hella good stuff. So yeah, definitely do not sleep on the mystery boxes. I mean, a lot of this stuff you could probably end up flipping if you wanna try to make some profit off of the boxes, but um, yeah, this is just an opportunity for you guys to shop my personal closet for the first time ever. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, join the crew, and I will see you guys on the next one. Hello.